Good morning from Queenstown. No matter how which way you round, you do it. Have fun and go and see the world and create memories and that's what it's all about. today well not necessarily a big day but we've got lots of things planned and we're just coming around the corner here and I'm gonna show you the beautiful beautiful views that you get in Queenstown isn't that cool it's just from every angle it seems like so today we are heading to Arrowtown Hopefully we're going to hit the Arrowtown Museum there, um, or Lakes District Museum I think it's called. And then we're heading to Wanaka, and we're going to check out Puzzling World. And then we are going to go and through to Haast, which is where we're going to be staying today. Um, and then, yeah, tomorrow will be cool as well, because we're heading up, sailing up the west coast to Fox Glacier. I'm at Patagonia Chocolates in Arrowtown and I'm having a Patagonia dark chocolate ice cream and it is divine. It's like the best chocolate ice cream I think I've ever had. Definitely recommend. We're starting our morning off in Arrowtown and we've just been to the chocolate shop and got a chocolate ice cream and a deluxe hot chocolate. So good. And some gifts from some shops here. This place is beautiful. And the food is beautiful, and the scenery is beautiful, the buildings are amazing. Arrowtown for the win! I'm having a great day today. I've spilt the chocolate all down me. I just dropped my phone, but we're in a really beautiful place, so I guess that helps. At the Arrowtown Chinese Village, having a look around. Yeah, it's just amazing to think of how many people would have been living here. This is the old store.
That's the fireplace. Your destination is on the left. This is Sam walking around inside the inside the museum. She seems to have lost the ability to walk. <laughs> I can't walk. finished visiting the West Coast Wildlife Centre where you can go and see Rowi Kiwi, um, learn about the hatching program, learn more about glaciers, all sorts of really really cool things. It's Lonely Planets, one of Lonely Planets, <coughs> 12 top things to do in New Zealand apparently. And yeah, if you want to go there, check flybys, sometimes they have really good deals. So I am currently sitting in our motel for the night in Fox Glacier and there's no one here. Uh, I don't have very many video clips from the last two days for the vlog so I thought I'd just kind of have a little bit of a conversation about something that's really become a little bit more obvious the further round we've gotten, uh, especially the last three days from Queenstown. Uh, and then we stayed last night in Haas and then up the west coast a little bit to Fox today. It's really, really empty. <laughs> really, really empty. And talking with business owners, it's really, really hard. Shop owners don't have customers. Businesses are just really, really struggling. Um, this motel that we're at, it's a huge place. And there's two cars in the car park. There's just no people. You know, we drove for a couple hours yesterday and a couple hours today. And the whole time we maybe passed, you know, like 20, 30 cars in a couple of hours span. There's just no one here and it's really, really hard for the people here. That there are some towns that are actually doing okay tourism wise because New Zealanders are stepping up and going to them. But it's those towns that traditionally rely pretty much solely on those international tourists. Like Queenstown, which is really, really high priced. But also things like the West Coast. The West Coast is really, really struggling because they rely on those international tourists. And now that they're not getting them, 
New Zealanders aren't making up the difference. In fact, there's hardly any New Zealanders here full stop. And this is like the peak summer season. This is February. And so I just really want to encourage you guys watching. If you have been wanting to come, if you can get some time to come down and to enjoy it. It's really quiet, which is nice for you if you're traveling. But it's actually, it's really sad to see how quiet it is. Everywhere we go, there's just huge car parks and they're all just empty and it's just it is sad and it's hard to talk to these people who are really really struggling um losing their entire livelihoods and their entire businesses so yeah if you've wanted to do this if you've wanted to come and look at the south island now is a great great time because as much as they say it as much as they campaign and say new zealanders you need to go and see your country we do we need to see our country we need to help out um these people really, really are relying on New Zealanders coming and seeing their country.